Hello students, in this video we'll see how to find the probability density function of the sum of two independent random variables. Given x and y with PDFs fx and fy, find the PDF of x plus y, and we can assume independence. So what we wish to find, let's do the CDF first. Let's compute the probability that x plus y is less than or equal to a parameter t. Well, this will be equal to the double integral over the set of all points x and y such that x plus y is less than or equal to t. That's our region of integration because I have x plus y less than t. And then I'll integrate the joint PDF. So we, our joint PDF will be f of xy dx dy. And now by the independence, we know that this will be equal to the double integral over the set of all x and y such that x plus y is less than or equal to t of fx of x, fy of y, dy, dx. Or I can do dx, dy. Either way will work. And so if we choose to do dx, dy, we note that what is the range of y? So in this problem, we see that this is equivalent to the set of all points x and y such that y is less than or equal to t minus x. So we can rewrite our limits of integration as follows. This is the integral. Now, x can go between anything between negative infinity and positive infinity. And y goes between negative infinity all the way up to t minus x. Then I'll have an f x x, f y y, and then I'll have a d y d x. So this is the formula for the CDF. Now what we can do is we can change the variables a little bit over here. What we can say is we can say I would like this variable over here just to be a t. So what we'll do is the following. We'll let u So I can shift this over by saying I can let u be y plus x. So when y is t plus x, I'll just have a u equals t. So if I have y plus x is my u, then my limits of integration, so when y is negative infinity, u is negative infinity. And when y is equal to t minus x, this implies that u will just be equal to t. And so our problem turns into this. It turns into the integral from negative infinity to infinity of the integral from negative infinity up to t of f of x, x, f of y. And then over here, I will have a u, I'll have a y, which is u minus x. So I'll have a u minus x du. And then I'll have a uh, dx. And so this formula over here gives us the uh, representation for the CDF. And so now if I do the derivative of this expression with respect to t, we can note that the derivative with respect to t is the PDF of x plus y. So if we do the derivative with respect to t, I'll use the fundamental of calculus, that will tell me that the PDF of x plus y as a function of t, the derivative of this will be the integral from negative infinity to infinity, this integral remains, and then this t integral will go away, and the t will go wherever I see the variable u. So I will have the integral of f x, x, f, 
y, and I'll replace the u with t, so that I'll have a t minus x dx. And so this represents this integral over here, this convolution integral, represents the PDF of the sum x plus y. So this is the convolution of the PDFs of x and y. Thank you very much.